Welcome to our Cloud Next session on how to increase our developer productivity with our recently announced product, Cloud Workstations. First, let's do a quick round of introductions. Hi, I'm Marcus Grapeja, Product Manager for Google Cloud, focused on Cloud Workstations and Cloud Shell. Hi, I'm Antoine Castex, a Cloud Architect working for L'Oreal. And hi, everyone. I'm Matt Ellis, a Developer Advocate working with Remote Development at JetBrains. All right, so today we're giving you an overview of what's new in IDEs and related tooling in Google Cloud. So we start by recapping our existing solutions, followed by a deep dive on our new offering, Cloud Workstations. Next, Antoine from L'Oreal, we talk about how they enable teams across the world to share the same ways of working. And finally, Matt from JetBrains, we talk about our partnership to support JetBrains IDEs with JetBrains Gateway. So let's start then. First, I wanted to give you a quick overview of the ID and related tooling Google Cloud has available today. First, Cloud Shell provides a terminal and code editor available directly from your browser, as you can see here on the screen. It comes pre-configured with tools such as gCloud and Docker, so you can more quickly get started with Google Cloud. Next, we have Cloud Code, a set of ID extensions you can install on the most popular IDs, such as IntelliJ or VS Code that makes it easy for you to create and deploy applications in the cloud. And two years ago, we announced a major update to Cloud Shell Editor, introducing rich language support, source controls, cloud code integration, and an integrated debugger to make it easier for you to prototype with the Google Cloud APIs and code samples. And today, we're introducing Cloud Workstations, the next step on this journey, providing fully managed and customizable development environments. All right. so. Cloud Workstations is a new product built to support the day-to-day -day development needs of large and small development teams. It provides a customizable development environment available in seconds anywhere from a browser, as you can see here on the screenshot. And all of this is done in a reproducible way, which means you can address the works on my machine problems by using it. It also allows you to run code against real services, preventing the typical issues associated with emulation of uh, services. And finally, it has a series of built-in security mechanisms to help you strengthen your security posture. So before you start our deep dive, let me talk about the main challenges we heard from our customers that guided the design of Cloud Workstations. First, getting developers started on a new project takes too long, especially getting development environment set up. And this got more complex with the increase in remote work we saw recently. Next, multiple of the developer in a loop friction points such as accessing private resources or slow builds are simplified once you move your dev environment to the cloud. And finally, securing local devices and the source code and data storing it is challenging. Let me now show how Cloud Workstations address these challenges. First, fast environment setup. This video shows an example of how you can get a dev environment up and running in a few minutes. We're here creating an environment for a workstation configuration. As you can see here, in a few seconds, you can define multiple configurations for, let's say, Node.js, a Java, or a Python environment. Once you create a configuration, this can be used as a template for cloud workstations used by other developers. Once the developer clicks on Start Workstation, what is happening behind the scenes is you're creating a VM dedicated for that developer which can start fast because it can keep a pool of warmed up VMs pre-configured. Once they click on launch, as expected, you get a code editor running on a VM, but this goes uh, way beyond uh, just a code editor. Developers and team leads can also preload the code repo, library, dependencies, ID extensions, and even customize the specific ID and code editor being used. In this case, we are seeing here a, a Java, a series of Java code samples. We could, for example, customize that to have the code samples which help your developers get onboarded with your uh, tooling and your internal uh, frameworks. Another thing you can see here is all the tools, such as the Java ID extensions or the JDK are pre-installed here. So you can just get to, into reading and writing code as soon as possible. Uh, next, as I mentioned before, for consistency purposes, all workstations belong to workstation configuration, which can be defined by a team lead or admin. You can see a screenshot of what it looks like on the left, 
where essentially you can define parameters such as the VM, disk specifications, and environment definitions via your via container images. You can either use our base images, which comes with some basic tools pre installed, or even create your own container image, customizing our base image with any of the tools you want uh, for your day to day, as you can see on the right uh, hand slide. So you could, for example, have a Java plus a Spring Boot configuration for your backend team and a TypeScript configuration for your front end team. So they get the tooling they need to get their job uh, done. And let's now switch into developer productivity. So developers frequently achieve their maximum productivity on a specific ID where they build their IDEO uh, setup. Knowing this, we build Cloud Stations from the ground up to have multi IDE support. So if you're using either uh, IntelliJ, Goland, PyCharm, or VS Code, or any other IDs, you can benefit from remote development without changing your workflow or tooling. We're also partnering with JetBrains to provide the IDs outlined uh, over here. And next, beyond browser-based IDs, Cloud stations also support other interfaces, which are typical of development workflows. On the left-hand side, you can see here you can have uh, your local JetBrains IDs connect your workstation via JetBrains Gateway. And on the right-hand side, if you use local VS Code, you can also access workstation for remote development via SSH. You can also set up SSH and even TCP tunnels to workstation from a local machine for more advanced uh, workflows. Cloud workstations also comes with the Cloud Code ID extensions pre-installed. These extensions make it easy for you to create and deploy applications to multiple cloud services, such as GKE, Cloud Run, or the other services you can see uh, here. It also enables a very fast uh, code build and test cycle with hot reload, which is possible via beauty integrations with Minikube and Scaffold. Uh, finally, I want to talk about the security and uh, enterprise focus elements of cloud workstations, which ensure organizations can provide the security guardrails they need. So all cloud workstations, as you can see in this diagram, can be created inside of a VPC network and it can access your private environments with VPC service controls integrations possible for added security. So this means that you can enforce the same policies used for your production services to your developer workstations such as automatic disk backups or limit access to sensitive resources. All access to cloud workstations is also controlled via IEM, and you can also enforce a fully private ingress and egress so that only users inside your private network can access your workstations. And as well as workstation configurations make it easy for you to manage environment uh, configurations. As you can see here is admins can have a consolidated view of all the configs used by the teams, so they can quickly manage and update the configurations they're using. So you could, for example, seamlessly update environments. Let's say if you patch a uh, one of those environments today, but tomorrow our workstations will be automatically uh, updated. And one last thing, DevOps tooling support. You may have a variety of tried and test tools you use, such as Cloud Build or even third-party tools like GitLab or TeamCity. Cloud workstations, since they can live inside a VPC, also support accessing tools that can be self-hosted, on-prem, and even running in other clouds. And finally, uh, this is this for the overview of cloud workstations. But if you're interested in learning more about secure software uh, supply chain, I invite you to attend the session on Software Delivery Shield. With that said, I now want to hand over the presentation to Antoine, uh, which will talk more about how L'Oreal increased their developer productivity and security with cloud workstations. Thank you, Marco, for the invitation. Really appreciate it. Uh, before speaking with you deeper about Cloud Workstation, uh, let me give you a few words about L'Oreal. I'm sure you already know who L'Oreal is, but L'Oreal is the main and the most biggest cosmetic company in the world. We sell millions and millions of products every year through e-commerce website or physical workshop. We are present in more than 50 countries and more than 90,000 employees working together. We choose Google Cloud as a partner for all the data and analytics use case that we have. And for this use case, there is hundreds of developers. And that's exactly why we are here today, to speak about the experience of this developer. This developer can come from different countries, different places, working for different projects. 
but at the end they can also work together in the same project that means there is a lot of different examples where we have to say we need some tools to be more efficient and work better together the challenge we were having before workstation were simple but very important the cost management of the different solutions that were used because there were a lot difference about the licensing and the way it was used the security of this solution were a nightmare because we have to manage the fact they are not at the same levels of security and features probably the biggest one the single point of failure represented by the laptop himself because remember the fact that a developer before pushing his code is initially developing locally on his laptop so it was a big problem because everything is located on the laptop if there is a problem and at the end the fact that the code was not rationalized because everybody is working at different speed at different maturity so it was at the end a lot of time consuming to be sure everybody is doing the same thing so in that case workstation comes and the ambition we have and it's now possible is to let developer works from anywhere with any devices at any time that's great and what helps that ambition to be possible the fact that now it's possibly to deploy very easily a uh, environment for a newcomer going into a ticket solution requesting for a new environment calling an api to google cloud and in less than a minute magic happen secondly ensure that now everyone is working in the same way that's a very very game changer because now it's possible to compare and monitor that 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 problematic the cost efficient which is at the end still a problem with all the problematic you can have in a company like lowell but also in your company you can now control you only pay when you use the solution so it's very efficient the fact also that it is very powerful because you can choose the different performance of the workstation you want to provide to your developer and also the fact that it's low carbon because you can also choose and select where exactly you want to deploy this workstation and at the end the fact that the security is now more mature and can be better because in one single pane of glass we have an overview of what's going on following the zero trust principle provided by google in many many other products like single sign-on the fact that workstation doesn't need to have any external ip and plus all the different features that google cloud is providing so to conclude i use this code coming from my engineering team yes they are very happy to use workstation but not only because it's powerful because it's great because it, it, it's integrated with google cloud but more because it's now very mature it's possible to work together in a most more efficient way to provide more better solution for the business and now i will let the floor to matt from jetbrain thanks antoine um, I'd like to say the opportunity to describe a little bit about how JetBrains IDEs, traditionally desktop applications, work in a remote development scenario, and also to introduce JetBrains Gateway. When we run uh, a JetBrains IDE on a remote machine, we install the IDE on the remote machine and it lives there with your project, your source code, your dependencies, your tool chain, everything you need to run the application, to run your project, and to develop it and uh, go through the whole life cycle. Um, apart from the user interface. The user interface runs locally, and this is where JetBrains Gateway comes in. Gateway is a small application that is responsible for talking to the remote machine and for starting up the JetBrains client, providing the user interface. Gateway is everything you need to get started, and it, uh, you just need to install this on a fresh laptop, for example, and it can connect and it can to the remote machine. Uh, and it can, um, we'll start up the client and it's everything you need then to get started. The client itself pro provides the user interface and it provides a local editor for working with your remote source. This editor uh, is all running locally and um, it will edit your uh, files and it feels like a local application. However, your files are still secure and remote on the remote machine. Getting started is very straightforward. You just need to download the gateway application. 
And once you've started there, there's a button to install the Cloud Workstations plugin. Um, and then you can immediately sign in, start a workstation, select your project, and get going with your coding. It's important to point out that this isn't remote desktop. We're not showing you the user interface of the application running on the remote machine. We're running a local client here. It's a thin client. It's a very rich client, which is providing a local experience. But all of the functionality is coming from the remote machine. It's got a local editor, but all the syntax highlighting and uh, ID intelligence is coming from the remote machine. So uh, Gateway is designed to make it feel like you're working locally. Licensing is also local as well. So you just need to uh, turn up, uh, start the JetBrains client uh, through Gateway, and that will then work. As long as you've got a license, that will work then with your remote uh, machine on cloud workstations. So what is the user experience like? Well, if you've used a JetBrains IDE before, you'll be very familiar. The client is based on the same IntelliJ platform. You get a project view, and you also get the very powerful search everywhere. So you can quickly find your classes, your files, your symbols, and navigate around your projects and open source files. The editor is uh, very rich as well. And uh, although it's working locally, so you get editing files locally, you get a local experience, all of the syntax highlighting and code completion is coming from the remote machine. We also provide smart ID features as well. So we're running inspections and trying to find problems with your code, such as unused methods or potential exceptions and so on. And we can provide quick fixes to update your code and uh, work with these. We can also provide refactoring, such as renaming symbols, much more accurate than a find and replace. And you can run your application too as well. So uh, the ID will monitor for uh, what ports you're using on the remote machine. And it will suggest to forward the ports and even forward the port and open the browser so you can locally test your application. You can work with it and uh, navigate around your code. You can debug your code as well. So just hit a breakpoint and uh, hit start debugging. That'll run the application and you can step in, step out. You can examine data. You can uh, look at the state of your application and work with it as you would do it in a local application. However, everything is still running on the remote machine. All of this information is being uh, sent to the client and the client running as a local application is working as a debugger. And to round out the whole life cycle, we've got uh, version control as well. So you can see the whole history of your project. You can look at diffs and you can also see what files need to be committed uh, locally as well. And finally, we can um, customize the experience. So you can install plugins on the remote machine to provide extra functionality to the, uh, to the language features, or you can customize the client too, and you can have different themes, different key maps, and you can also update the functionality of the editor with something like IdeaVim to give you Vim key bindings. And so that's a very quick introduction to uh, JetBrains Gateway and the JetBrains IDEs. The whole idea is to try and give you a local experience while you're running remotely and all of your source and all of your project is running remotely. And now I'd like to just hand back to Marcos. Right, thank you very much, uh, Matt and Antoine from joining our session. And as you folks saw, Cloud Workstations gives you the toolings, the tools and uh, the building blocks for it to increase your developer productivity and security with cloud-based development environments. If you're interested in trying it out or learning more about it, you can now go to console.cloud.google.com slash workstations to try out the live product as well as read through our documentation. Thank you very much.